So it looks like the simulation is done. Uh, now um, let's look at where this came from. So we have our um, our job over here, and uh, <clears throat> so in FreeCAD we created the the G code. And so okay, let's delete that. So this is our port right here. So let's see this here. Okay. So for all this, um, so basically, I created a a. Um, We have a job, we have a port here, right? And this port has a body, right? That's this port over here. And the body has a path, which is that one. And in the rooster, it was a import. So I went to file import and I selected a, the baby rooster there. I open it and then here it gives you the option you select as SBGS SBG as a geometry import you say select in this case um, and then you get all this you get all these parts but I moved it so let me cancel that control Z and then once you got all those pads then you select all these pads and then you go all the way and you hold it up to here and then you go to the draft and then in there once you select that you select this option here convert bidirectional between drop object and sketches and then once you do that it's going to give you one sketch or many sketches depending on what you're doing so in my case i got only one sketch so i give it a name rooster and you can go here right and then then once that was done once once you have all that then you pick the rooster and you create a new job and then here you you pick only the sketch and the part then you say OK and then it gives you here the setup then on their output you pick your processor in my case is GRBL 
and select where you where your file is gonna go cheat code baby cock we put four there save and then in general that is your job setup tools Under tools, let me do something here because um, so let's do general uh, part in the rooster sketch in the output. We select our output file where it's gonna go with that processor, then under setup, the box. You can pick up a cylinder if you want. Uh, they have the different ones. Oh. Tools. Here you add your tools. I'm gonna use a six millimeter V shape, sixty degrees. And then you delete the default and then the, the work plan uh, will add what you exactly want to do and you click OK but let's say you forgot something you want to change something on the job so you click here job stock and then double click on that and then that will take you back to if you want to make changes okay so so now let's say you want to do the operation here you profile entire model select job in this case will be job one I created a second job okay and then you give her your operation your depth by default it's going to give you the depth of the highest object I think but minus 20 that's not the one we want we want we want it to be minus three and then you click then it changes step down minus two so that will give it one a millimeter and apply and okay and of course has a problem so delete this job join the one that I already have here operations I'm doing engrave so for engrave you pick here Then you do the same thing. Um, all my settings are there already. Okay. And then once you're happy with your job, you get your G code here. Post processes selected. Then you save it. And then there's your code here. You can inspect 
what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna get my tool then I'm gonna go to the speed and then it's gonna do all this. Okay. And at this point you can simulate if you want. You can do a simulation. This is going to take a long time, so I'm not going to do this one fast forward. So it's going faster. So this one is run simulation to end without animation. And uh, we will see our result here. Okay. And once you've done that, and let's see, that's your pretty much your result. And then you go to your your universal G code sender. This is the one I'm using. You can download it. And then I simulate. I connect the Arduino. Simulate it. And, and that was the end. So, and that's how you, you here open Version 4, open. There you go. It comes down here. All your G code is right there. At the feed and speed. Oh, that's uh, something that you have to put it in here. Go to your job. Oh, tack. Then on the tools you put here your your speeds, the spindle speed, the feet speed, and the plunge rate. And That's it.